Alamance County residents are doing what they can to stop world hunger. Our Julie Morse found out how people of all ages are making a difference. Participants at the Burlington Crop Walk believe in the world's hunger problem, and they are walking for a solution. Thank you so much. So we're back on. Three. After a low turnout last year, the walk's organizer, Phil Young, is expecting a comeback. Our goal is to get back to the $60,000 level that we were in the last uh, recent years. We were lower than that last year because of the economy. The poverty rate in North Carolina is at an all-time high, but Young believes the Saturday walk was successful. We definitely have more walkers this year than last year. We had a really beautiful day. Walkers can participate in the six-mile or one-mile course, but 91-year-old Fred Genoway made up a course of his own. I walk from home here, it's an, and then we start from here on the, on the 6.2-mile run, but I get off between Saddle Club on Parrish Street and go to my street. A quarter of the funds will stay here in Alamance County. Genoway alone hopes to raise $1,000 this year. But charity is not the only reason he walks. Exercise is the name of the game. While other walkers get water and peanuts, Genoway is happy with just the exercise. Julie Morris, Phoenix 14 News, tonight.